It's a growing problem in St. Louis. Serious crimes committed by teenagers and escapes from juvenile detention centers. Tonight, we sit down with the city's chief juvenile officer and presiding judge to find out what authorities are doing to address it. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. I'm Kelly Jackson. Teens have been involved in recent crimes like robbery, armed carjackings, and even murder. Five Minutes Side's Christine Byers is here after questioning administrators about this growing issue. Christine? Kelly, the most publicized example of this problem happened earlier this year. Two teenagers who police say were breaking into cars at City Foundry in Midtown opened fire on officers. Then those teens were released back to their parents. Amanda Sadamka is the city's chief juvenile officer. How does something like that happen? We took a good hard look at our intake procedures and there really was no need to change them at this point. It really was just clarifying um, what those formal procedures are and communicating that. Last week, the police and juvenile courts released this memo outlining how juveniles are to be processed. The main message, bring juveniles to the detention center don't make decisions over the phone. And over time is, is, is folks can get a little uh, sloppy and, um, and, and so start doing things a little more informal than formal. Judge Stephen Omer presides over the city's juvenile division of the family courts. Most of what I see are, are murder, uh, assaults, uh, robberies. Um, those kind of offenses. From where you sit, do you think kids are becoming more violent? When I started out here, our numbers in detention were in the area of 10 to 15, were a lot. And now we're, we hover around 50. Juvenile detention centers across the region have also struggled with teens who are detained escaping. I mean, we've had five escapes, you know, and then those uh, Juveniles have been picked up on other charges as well. Judge Omer says it's partly because in 2021, the legislature raised the age of a juvenile to 17, sending an older population of teens into the centers. The law also required juvenile facilities to house teens certified as adults until their trial dates. These older kids are, are more sophisticated and, uh, and, and, and street, uh, streetwise. Sadamka says they've cut 20 staffing vacancies by more than half by increasing salaries, incentivizing overtime pay, and allowing deputy juvenile officers to work in the detention center have helped. Omer says there's more work to be done. I think we're at a point where we, we can manage it, but we're, we're certainly not where we want to be. To learn more about how the detention center helps juveniles process past trauma, read my story on KSDK.com. You can find a link under the As Seen on TV section.